morning, everybody, and welcome to Fish Talk Video. Early start this morning. Jamie's come up from sale, and uh, for the first time in a long time, probably 12 months or so, we'll both be going up to Dartmouth. As most people know, Dartmouth has recently spilled over, so uh, we're thinking that we might be able to get a few. We're thinking, Jamie, that the uh, fish might be pushing down towards the wall a bit. Oh, I think so. Yeah. yeah. With a bit of movement in the water, yep. that's often the case. When it went over in the 90s, there were quite a few fish that went over the Indeed. over the wall into the bondage. Yep, that's true. So we're, it's around about five minutes to six, which is pretty early for us. So uh, we'll be hitting the road very, very soon. Okay, folks, so here we are at Dartmouth. This is about as full as you're ever going to see this lake. The lake, of course, is spilling over just recently. And uh, it's right up at 100%. So uh, that's where the end of the boat ramp is now. We've already got a couple of uh, fishermen out here. We do believe there's a fair bit of uh, rubbish on the surface that we'll have to contend with. The boat's on their way out there Let's, already. Uh, go. Where do you think we should start, Jamie? Oh, I'd go over that side, yeah. That's always been popular, it's always fished well. Around near the uh, point there? Yeah, just around to the point. Into the fog? Yep. Why We're not? pretty famous for hitting the damn wall. We didn't hit, hit the, the past. We didn't hit the wall, right? We were very close. Yeah, we were close, <laughs> but yeah, we weren't over the buoys. <laughs> well, we've been up here, Ross, when there's been cars, you know, there's been 100, 120 cars yes. lined up going into the water there. So. That, yeah, you're dead right there. And uh, now it's an amazing sight, isn't it? No parking there at all. It is an amazing sight. Time wise, Gaz, if you're watching, quarter to eight. Prime bite time. Yeah, we, <laughs> I know your suggestion was that we get up here pre-dawn, but that was never going to happen. All right, let's get into it. Okay, I'm starting off with one of the uh, 40th anniversary Tassies actually, again on the uh, recommendation of Gaz. Yeah. Jamie on this side has I'm got... Going, to, going to recommendation of Gaz as well, the Canberra Killer, Roscoe. Canberra Killer, yes, there it is. That's him there. That's a sort of an orangey thing with black and yellow wings. Yellow wings? Yeah. And then a gold, one of the Adamitabi ones, because we've only got one of them. I left the rest at home. Yes, which means that it'll catch fish. It'll catch so fish. So we can't uh, replicate it and they'll want nothing else but that one. Yep, and I'll lose it um, about the third fish, I think, is probably the way it goes. Yeah, that's worked it out. Anyway, we'll get these out and uh, see what happens. We're still just absolutely amazed at the amount of water that is being presented up here. Just phenomenal amounts of water, Jamie, when you think about what we've seen it at, yes. you know, down as low as 10% or so. Well, when you pan around there, Roscoe, and you go down to the wall, yeah. and you can see uh, the trees in the water down around the wall there. Yeah. yeah, unbelievable. Well, we came down here because of our theory that fish do sense when it goes over. A lot of fish went over back in 96. Yep. Uh, when it spilled, they had to actually rescue some from the terraces. Some big trout and, and, Macquarie, and, and Macquarie, Macquarie perch. perch. They're yeah. the ones that they were most interested in rescuing. Yeah, so uh, they do sense that movement of water, so they'll come from further up the lake to down here. So that was part of our theory of fishing here first. Hasn't worked yet, Roscoe. Oh, it's worked a treat, mate. Got worked. two downriggers down. That one's at 24 feet. That one's at now, I think, 15. Tassie on the surface there, bumping away, and you're just working a Bullet lure. Bullet, yeah. yeah, you can look down there and you see, oh, there's a bump or something on that. Yep. yep. It's going to be a giant, I would dare say, Jamie. Not sure we're going to need the net there, are we? Oh, probably not. No. Oh, oh, you've caught my other line. Is it your other line or is I it think mine? So. Oh. oh, that's not so bad then. <laughs> so, little brownie. Yep. Um, on the Canberra Killer. What well on Gaz? Yes, thanks for the tip there, Gaz. Yeah. Just got banged as I picked it up. Oh. Oh, well, Jamie's just. Uh, that was on the surface, Jamie. That's on the surface, yeah. It's, it's pretty useless fish. dropping fish. I don't, I don't know. I mean, 
Be like me, just don't catch them at all. <laughs> and have nothing there. Yeah. At least nobody can accuse me of dropping me fish. That must have been just following it, and when I picked it up, picked and it up, you gave it that little it. bit of movement. <laughs> and yet, I've been working this surface lure here for the best part of a kilometer, I reckon. Do you want to try that? Right, nearly quarter past ten and uh, with a bit of luck we've got our first keeper, but we don't know yet. We don't know, uh, the fish there though, Roscoe. So, yep. we've gone desperado. Yeah, 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 well we're trolling worms behind fenders at the moment. How many colours did you have out there? Uh, three and a little bit. Three and a little bit? Okay. A little bit was when we were launching your lead line. So this is lead lining folks. Uh, it's a very, very good method of putting fish in the boat. We catch plenty of fish using this method. That one's a little bit on the thin side one. And a bit small. Yeah, but he's well and truly hooked. He wasn't getting off that one. Yeah. Uh, Jamie's just going to break that hook off because we don't really need that one. We do not need that. And uh, with a bit of luck, he'll be able to pass that hook. If not, we're giving him the best possible chance of survival. Just heaps of rubbish on the surface at the moment. And a lot of flooded trees over there by the bank. We have seen a, fair, a few uh, fishermen that are casting along the banks. Spoke to one and he done all right. He got three, I think, in the boat doing that method, casting bullet lures. He's on to his second fish on the worm, so guess where Rossi's going? Rossi's going on the worm. <laughs> a bit different then, too, Ross, because you you killed the boat. Yeah, well, true. Yeah, it might have dropped down a little it bit did, further. It did drop down, and it was coming. It was hit it on the way back up. It's always worth just. Changing enough whether they could turn at the boat to go a different direction or. Yep, yep. I think we can probably just lift him in. Yeah, it's a bit better than the last one. Oh, yeah, he's alright. He might be worth putting through the smoker for you. You want to take a few, eh? He's skinny too, isn't he? He is a bit skinny, but. I uh... oh, will let him go. He's easy enough to get off. Okay, alright. Yeah. Uh, bigger mates, buddy, bigger mates. That's what we want. And uh, see how Jamie's holding that fish upside down? Calms them down beautifully. It's just a little tip for people. If you're uh, trying to unhook them and you want to get them back in the water. So, they recover beautifully. Well done, mate. Two nil. And we're finally on, Roscoe. We are. Or well, I hope we still are. We still? Yeah, no. Sometimes can be a bit of a bother with uh, lead lines. You're never sure, but they generally run pretty good goes to show once you find the method that's working for the day what's that three in since that corner just over there yeah. that's three fish yeah. in fairly quick time so it's three small fish in fairly quick time keel haul it in yep yeah. grab the upside down you know, upside down comfort lift Oh, he's through his bottom jaw. There we okay. go. Hooks out. Yeah. This is still on. Not what we need, so spear him back in. Okay, so that fish was caught at around about four colours, so that's what you do. You go back to where you've caught a fish. Jamie's been getting his at three and a bit colours, so there wouldn't be much difference vertically between the two. But interestingly, the last fish that Jamie got was after the motor accidentally went into neutral. So his lure probably dropped a bit and then was on its way back up when the fish hit. So just little things that you just gotta keep working at and persevering at with the trout fishing and trout trolling and 
and Lake Dartmouth specifically, really. But what a beautiful day we've got. Roscoe's dropped his. The two oh, in very quick succession, Roscoe. It's cleaned the line off anyway, Jamie. Yes. If nothing else. Whereas this one's still on. Oh, you got a fish on? Of course, of course I've got a fish on, Ross. <laughs> I don't lose them like you do. This oh, one's a better up. fish, too. Just well, wanna... I hope it gets off now. <laughs> Jeez, it's hard to get good help. Little rainbow. No, a little brown. No, a little rainbow. Little rainbow trout. That's the difference. Yeah. Oi! Certainly is a little rainbow, yeah. Gosh. Well, we've come into a bay where there's a good population anyway, if nothing else. So we've got five fish in the boat. Six. Six in the boat, is it? Yeah, six in the boat. And not one in the esky so far, but that's okay. It's still been good fun. It's just a lovely place to be at the moment on days like this. It's a bit of a head shake happening there, mate. Yeah. Probably. Is it indecent, Nick? You might be in trouble. Hold on. Yeah, he's in trouble. Uh, just lift. Just lift? Pretty professional release there, Jamie. Well done. I'll make sure that stays in. I'm sure you will. <laughs> it's amazing, actually, that probably oh, in less than an hour, about quarter past ten, I think we started fishing up in here, Jamie. Um, it's only 11 o'clock now, but uh, half a dozen fish in that time. And yet our first two or three hours on the water for, uh, one hit and, and one in the boat so yeah you've got to find them once you've found them stick around don't go don't keep trolling turn around you know they hang around together they might not school but they do hang around together well they where the food is roscoe yeah well that's, that's what true we found. if you find the food you'll find fish yeah no that's true and so this run from over there around the corner and back up to here has produced pretty well i think we our first fish came from across the other side there so we'll go keep going along this run see what happens